Morning, Wranglers. Today I'm gonna whip you up a little breakfast before you go out to doing branding the cows or maybe a really nice little supper before you're putting them cattle to sleep. And it's nutritious, delicious, and it's, of course, easy. Here we go. I want you to see, first I did myself up a little over half a pound of a ground sausage. Now you can use a ground sausage, you can use chorizo, you can mix gr uh, ground hamburger and ground sausage. I take my knife fry pan, which is still hot, and I put in two tablespoons of butter. Now I'm going to stir my butter, and I'm picking up all this little bit of bits and pieces of this sausage. Oh, that's going to be good. There, it's almost done. I don't like to take a lot of time doing this because my posse gets real anxious when they smell this going. Now I've got my butter going and I want you to see that the butter starts to turn bubbly and brown. And I'm going to add three tablespoons of flour. I get my flour and I'll start mixing that flour around. What are you making today? And it makes a roux. This is going to be my sausage and gravy. A very cowboy stable. There, now you see how it's gonna look. I've got that nice and browned. I browned the flour that's in there with the butter. And I use a cast iron skittle. I love the way that it heats and I love how easy it cleans up. You can just do it by hand. You don't put it in the dishwasher. I mean, this thing is nicely seasoned. I've had it for quite a while. Now, I've got a cup and a half of milk. I start to add my milk slowly. Now, if you mix, you can make a bigger batch. And it makes it great if you go ahead and put it in a you know, couple of quart jars, put it in the fridge, and, or take some to a nice, thick cow poke friend. Get that all in there. Are you waiting until it gets thick? Yeah, I'm waiting for this just to thicken a bit. And it will get thick. How thick? Get all the lumps out of here. I love using my wooden spoons. I told you before, I love my wooden spoons. Every Christmas you ask for one. Every Christmas that's what I get. Here we go, get all the lumps out. Now to this. Bryce, our son, he makes this, right? Yes, he actually asked to have this one done. There, let that start. As it heats, that's gonna be thickening out. Now, I'm going to add in a few shakes of salt. You don't want to put a lot because the meat has, that sausage has a lot of the salt and spices in it. Some pepper. A little touch. I mean, just a touch. Watch that little sprinkle. And what's a touch of? Of garlic salt. A little touch of onion salt. I put in a pinch. And a pinch is between your thumb and forefinger Get this down so I can grab it. Between your thumb and forefinger, and this is uh, just a beef bouillon. I'm gonna put a pinch more, because that was a small pinch. There, one and a half pinches. Then I put in, now you can put a, a shot of chili powder. You can uh, <clears throat> put in the little drips of hot sauce if you like on it. I use this, this is from My, My Spice Sage. It's online, all shipping is free. And um, this, this kicks my guacamole, all your Mexican dishes, over rice, um, over your salsas. It's a mixture of different peppers, lime, citrus, and a little sugar. And it is delicious. 
I'm just going to put a little sprinkle in there. I stir this in. Now, very important, use your snipper. <laughs> you can get these online or you can use the one you were born with. Oh, yeah. This is the way you do it. Now I add back in my mixture of ground sausage and ground beef that I used. I like a little of each. And I didn't make a huge amount because my posse is rather small. Matter of fact, my posse only weighs about 110 pounds. She's doing the filming. I wish. <laughs> okay, now I this is ready to go. I'm gonna let it sit here and simmer just a second. Now I've already taken, uh, before I start making this, I just bought some of those nice big puff up easy buttermilk biscuits from the store and got them ready. Now I'm gonna take my buttermilk biscuit on my traditional cowboy plate. I pick my biscuit up. Now you wanna cut your biscuit in half. You need to do it quick. Okay, there you go. I, I can't do that in slow motion, but I have my biscuit ready. Now I'm gonna take my biscuit, take my official cowboy spoon. Oh yeah, look at that. And it's ready to serve. What do you think, Duke? Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> so until the next uh, until the next treat that we make, ride well, my friends.